Hey guys, welcome on in. My name is Dan C. Bearded, the trusted teacher for all things beard related. I'll be joined by my beautiful wife, Sam C., the super sniffer in a little bit. And today we will be reviewing a company that is called Wild Schwein. I know it's like fancy in German and Wild Schwein, but it is Wild Swine is how I'm going to say it today. And we're going to see their oils, their balms, their co-wash, and even a new product coming from them in the near future. So stay tuned to see about the price, the quality, the scents, would I recommend it, information on the company everything you need to know as always get comfortable get a snack get a drink bring in some loved ones and enjoy this review Company. A little bit of information about the Wild Swine Company. Well, first off, they are owned by a guy by the name of Jake, who is out of Southern California. Jake is actually a barber. After working for a long time in the construction industry, he had a turn of events that led him into this passion of being a barber, and that brought him to creating his own products and making his own company. And with that process, he got his oil formulation right on his 32nd batch. He was not going to sell for something that didn't work for him, his friend, his friends, and his family members, and he finally got that. So he loves this company. He thinks that it's unique with his artwork, with the way he approaches his ingredients. I'm going to talk about those in the field. We're going to talk about the scent with Sam C. It's just a company that has really good vibes. Before I had ever tried his products or I ever was looking at a review, we had talked, I had put out some of my like scientific videos, educational videos, and he was always on point in conversation and knew what he was talking about because that's not always the case. Sometimes it's kind of frustrating. I just shake my head. Jake, I was always like, yes, you get it. You get it. That's awesome. So nothing but really cool, unique perspective from this company. Price. I like to rate every company based on a one, two, or three dollar sign price rating based on the market average. Well, a one ounce bottle of beard oil on his website is going for $16.00 but I always see it on sale for $13.99. So it is even anywhere in there would be a solid $2 sign price rating, but there are two other things that can really help this price and gets it really darn close to that $1 price rating, but it's not quite there yet. They are absolutely on the better half of the $2 sign price rating. And those two things are, one is free shipping on US orders over $35 or more. That's very, very fair with that low threshold of $35. And then two, he does have a discount code for you guys from this video. It is a non-affiliate, no kickbacks. I don't get any commission on sales, but it's simply to help you guys out. And that is Dan15. I'll put that in the description there. So not only can you get that free shipping if you spend $35 or more, the oil is at $13.99 right now. You can take an additional 15% off with Dan15. So definitely the better side of a $2 sign price rating. All right, party people, we have brought her in, my amazing, supportive, phenomenal <laughs> wife, the holder downer of our household, <laughs> Sam C. Hello. How's it going today, Sam? Great. No drinking coffee or filming coffee today. All coffees, I hope, are drinking coffees. But <laughs> 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 nope. I know. I'm kind of bummed. I, we didn't even think about it. Yeah, here. it didn't even cross my mind. Did it cross yours? Yes. It did? Why'd yeah. you say something? Because I got a pop at lunch. Oh, yeah, yeah. You yelled yeah, at me yeah. the other day for that. Well, like, see, for me, like, a pop <laughs> is like a treat. And she follows up a, a pop with a treat and a treat after that. Mm -hmm. She just keeps them going. But today, <laughs> Sam, we are going to review this company here. I want you to take a shot. Let's see, see how you pronounce this. I think there's two options here, so we'll see which way you go. Wild Schwine. All right, so you're fancy. All right, yes. I think that is correct. Wild Schwine. And, uh, but I just say Wild Swine, so Wild Schwine. Schwine. Yes. So we are looking at these guys. They're out of California, and okay. they got some really cool, unique stuff here. So let's take a look at their, their oils. Uh, first off, what do you think about their uh, labeling? So what they have for their artwork, and I'll kind of give my thoughts on on that it's interesting that's for sure yeah it's for different. sure <laughs> yeah what i like about it is 
everything is different, but it is consistently this company. Mm -hmm. When you see it, I know that it's this company, right? Yeah, Some companies right. have crazy, amazing artwork. And you're like, who does that belong to? Right, unless it's you like, read the name. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. like watching a commercial and then my students at school are like, oh, that commercial was so funny. I was like, what were they advertising? I don't know. <laughs> like, they didn't do any good. I like that about it. So different hairdos, yeah, all the accessories like to go too. with it. Yeah, so <laughs> I think it's really cool. Uh, manly, right? It's yeah. got the, oh, the, sure. the hog on there, so definitely. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the oils here. We'll uh, give the name. Sam will give her her take on it. I was gonna start out with with my favorite one, the one that I've been wearing a lot lately here. Uh, this one is Big Island Blend. Big Island Blend, and I should be able to kind of show you guys. I feel like it's gonna smell like Hawaii. She's sniffing it here, which we are wanting bucket list to go to Hawaii. That's like our-, our For Christmas. Oh, wow, all right, yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Christmas, guys, breaking news, okay. All right, what do you got for the Big mm. Island Blend? Oh, it smells so good. So good. It is a pineapple, like coconut. It's just, it's Hawaii. Yeah, it's Big Island Blend, right? And it's not even like getting at like tropical, like you think Big Island, that's straight up Yeah, Hawaii, like maybe like you know? floral. Yeah, I love it, love it, yeah. love it. Super light, super refreshing. Mm -hmm. It's got, I mean, you can wear it at any situation. Yeah, in I agree. Any it's not season. just a summer scent. I agree 100%. So you digging that one? Yes. Cool. All right, next one up is going to be, I sliced when I was opening up the package, I got my knife and sliced this one up. But it's fresh and clean. Fresh and clean. Okay. And what I like about this, you guys will be able to check it out, is on the artwork, it has the name, but it gives away some hints on there, right? You fresh and clean, you're like, okay, that could be a cologne. Well, no, he has a straight razor. Yeah. He's got the slick back. Kind of <laughs> gives you hints yeah, to what's going it. on. Yeah, I love it. It's a beautiful barbershop. Yep, straight up barbershop. Now, how would you describe it on the the talcum side, the bay rum, classic, new school, old school? I think it's, to me, it's like a talc. Yeah, it's definitely, it's not the heaviest talc barbershop yeah. in the world because some are like almost yeah. straight up baby powder. Yeah. And, and some people love that. This one is, it has the talcum powder in there. And it's just a good mild one. I think this mm -hmm. is his lightest scent that he has. So if you're looking for a barbershop, and I think that's probably... One of the most commonly liked scent profiles. Yeah. There's not a ton of guys that really are like upset by a barbershop. Yeah, I agree. So that's a good one. All right, next one we have Bay Rum. Like this one kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, Vegas. It's got like the pirate ship on there and the pirate hat. Why is it Vegas? I, I don't know. They had like some big <laughs> pirate show when we went and uh, there was like two ships that were battling and that was like my first <laughs> memory of Vegas. My parents love Vegas, so we'd go all the time um, and I enjoy it too. So what do you got for Bay Rum here? And, and again, Bay Rum is one of those things where it's the whole spectrum of Bay Rum. Yeah. There's so many options. Is this the, so, the Island Bay Rum? Is this the Alcohol Bay Rum? To me, it doesn't smell like the Island. I was kind of thinking it was going to be more yeah. like coconutty. Or... Right, because it has the ship and the pirates and stuff on there. It is like there's a pineapple scent in there, but See, I, it's yeah. like... I don't know. Pineapple doesn't go stale or anything, but it kind of smells it's like a, lighter. a stale pineapple. Yeah, a lighter pineapple, not like a like squeezing juicy pineapple. Yeah, a dried pineapple. Dried pineapple. Yeah, it's a very light scent. When I smell this and when I put it in beard, I don't get bay rum at all. Like, there's nothing about that that says bay yeah, rum to me. I, I don't. Agree. I don't get the old school bay rum alcohol. I don't get the kind of barbershop bay rum. To me, if I had to describe this. It would be a very light, very light, uh, yeah, kind of fruit scent. Not a citrus, but a fruit scent to yeah. me. Yeah. And it stays, it goes, this one is, actually, I take back the barbershop one. This one is the lightest one, and this one fades pretty quickly. Like the tropical one, uh, the Big Island, that's going to last like seven hours in beard or more. This one's only going to last a couple of hours in beard. So if you want something a little bit more subtle, check that one out. Uh, next one is Cedar and Saddle. Cedar mm. and Saddle. Sam is a, a fan of the leather that that would be getting at with the saddle there. Oh. And I love cedar, too. I like being able to show that artwork. That's kind of smart. I was... Mm-hmm. Hit him with the word. What word? Cologne. It's kind of a cologne type. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not even kind of. It's a thousand Okay. Percent. All right. See? Uh, this is a cologne. I... How'd you miss my layup? I said, hit what him with the word, you show, bam, cologne. that I was not looking forward to smelling this because I thought it was going to smell like a dirty mm -hmm. cowboy. Mm-hmm. 
Wow, so I'm, I'm this down is with number it. one. Yeah, for you. This is amazing. When I when I wore this the first time, for sure, this was her favorite. Is and, this and the one I came in? I was like, oh, yeah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. I like went. Yeah, she you don't know sought me. me out to go I smell it. I went out yeah. of my way to go yeah. to Dan to tell yeah. him that I really like that and scent. She doesn't, I'm very lazy. So. Yeah, right. She doesn't <laughs> like to, like, she's not diving into these beard products. She loves this, does this, but it's not like she's like, let me smell all your beard products. Yeah. That's just not her. She was like, whoa, what is that? Yeah. And I tried these over the course of, like, three to four weeks. So when one stands out like that, that was big. Mm -hmm. So for me... I like a citrus side of the colognes. That's my favorite, my favorite realm. But I'm really learning to enjoy all of them. This one to me is just a really good man's cologne. I, yeah. I don't know. There's no, know. you know, scent yeah. that I can pick out. Yeah. It's a really. It's not soapy. It's yeah. not uh, musky. It's not. I would classify it as a young man's cologne, yeah. not an older man's. Cologne. I agree. Not that it's. Not meant for older right. men. Right, right. And that's super interesting. The Yeah, the cedar and saddle. And I'm sure all those are in there, but it just comes together yeah. as something that first time I wore it was bam, same. And, that, and it was within like minutes of me putting <laughs> it in. So you got a shower there. All right, next one is Oud to the Gods. Oud, Oud to the Gods. And Sam is not traditionally an Oud fan. Yeah. She's not, not, a, not a big Oud fan here. So show that artwork again while she's sniffing. What you got for Oud? I like it. It almost has like um, a barbershop scent to it, like a baby powder sort of scent. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It's it's not like any other oud that I've smelled. It's a very mild one, but it's a good oud. It's yeah. not like overpowering. It's not pungent. Or, yes. Yeah, it's not a pungent one. So it's a good scent strength on the on the product. So when I say a light, it's not a light scented oil, but it's a light on the oud. And there's yeah. definitely other scents in there with it. I just don't quite know what it is. Yeah, I would say that it's a light oud scent. Mm -hmm. So pretty good. One of the better ones to me too, because I'm kind of hit or miss on oud. Some of the favorites out there, I don't like, I don't wear, and I've, I've said that. Uh, so this one gives you kind of middle of the road. It's almost like a oud introduction and Introduction. <laughs> All right, next one is vanilla cigar. Vanilla is a word that I always feel like I'm saying wrong. Like it's such a weird vanilla. word, vanilla. Like that uh at the end. All right, what you got for vanilla cigar? You guys peeping that artwork there? This personally is my least favorite, but you guys know that because yeah. it's cigar scent. Yeah. It's like vanilla cigar. But also it's spicy. It is spicy. So for me, uh, I don't like to compare companies, but this one is uh, kind of common, biggest on Amazon, all that. If you guys have tried Grave before Shave, their vanilla cigar or some, some kind of cigar vanilla, uh, this smells just like that. You definitely have that spice in there yeah. and you definitely have, it's, I smell a rolled it's cigar. Like a clovey sort of spice, mm -hmm. if you guys were wondering, like a... Christmassy yeah. spice. Yep, yep, agreed 100%. Also my least favorite out of these ones, just because that just doesn't fit our profile. Yeah. But I think it's, Sam had the perfect accurate description. A spicy cigar scent with that like vanilla in there mixing, kind of yeah. bringing those together. And then the last one for us here is aged bourbon, aged bourbon. Okay. I know, I wanted to finish strong on our two least favorite <laughs> traditional profiles with bourbon and cigars. Uh, we're just that big in, into those. Can't drink bourbon allergic. I know argh, everyone always riots when I say that. Just, it is what it is. What's like a brand name of bourbon? I always get my liquors. Can <sighs> yeah, you I don't know. Guys, throw a comment down below about <laughs> bourbons on there. Yeah, I don't know. Whis I know whiskeys. Bourbon's always more tough. There's so many people like rolling their eyes right now like, oh. You don't know bourbon. Do you, are you American? <laughs> oh my gosh, you commie. I'm sorry. <laughs> God, they drink vodka. <laughs> All right, what you got here? Okay, this is this one is super light. Yeah, to me. yep, it is. I don't get that, you know, that burning that smell stinging, when you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, don't I don't get that. It's just an enjoyable light scent. Yeah, I don't it's, even know how to like classify that. Yeah, a very light cologne, like a soft cologne yeah, type scent. Yeah, very, very soft. Yeah, scent. yeah. So um, it's a nice mix. We got some ones that are on that subtler side, mm -hmm. but you also have some ones that are stronger and in your face. Sam's favorite and my favorite are actually, I think, the two strongest scents, the Big yeah. Island, and then you love the Cedar and Saddle. Yes. Those ones are out there, and usually I'm not a fan of the stronger scents. I like that medium range um but those ones are one, one 
What? Wonderful. <laughs> oh my God. What? 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 Wonderful. <laughs> uh, would the Big Island be your second favorite? The yes. tropical one? Boom. So yep. we're on the same page. So we have the same one too, just flip flopped for <laughs> where they're at there. And uh, yeah, I'm digging it. Digging it here. And you can smell the, let me find the cedar and saddle. Uh, to me, the balms and the oils are the same exact scent strength. Yeah, that's almost a little bit stronger. Yeah, and, and it smells exactly Is the that same. shampoo? Uh, it's a conditioner, wow. and it's the tropical Big Island one. Mm -hmm. So no, Don't no like shampoo. The small yeah, no. Yeah, she likes to wash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, as always, thank you for bringing us a different perspective, the take for what their ladies may like. You're welcome. All right. Bye, guys. Okay, bye. Feel super important. How do these products feel in my beard? How does my beard style? What do the ingredients look like? I'll break that all down for you guys. First off, let's start out with the oil here. Carrier blend that we're working with, jojoba, sweet almond, grapeseed, apricot kernel, avocado, argan, fragrance, and essential oils. Now, one thing that he really takes pride in is having a well-balanced blend for the carriers. Some of these oils are gonna be quick absorbing, deep penetrating, others are gonna be sealing and coating. They all have their job like a well-balanced team. And I've talked about that many times, but that is so important. And this one absolutely kills it. The oil is a really nice, clear consistency. I know some of you guys worry about that. So it's a really good, clear consistency. And it's a straight up medium viscosity. Not medium light, not medium thick straight up medium my beard really really enjoys this carrier blend medium is right where I love it if it's too thin my beard will dry out a little bit too quickly if it's too thick it's not gonna spread evenly throughout my beard it's not gonna look good it's gonna clump together this is spot-on what I like for my carrier blend so the ingredients check the feel how it makes my beard look check the oil is phenomenal one of the better ones that I've tested in quite a while in terms of feel and styling absolutely love that now the balm we're looking at uh, similar type things here we do have some wax in the balm but he wanted to make sure you knew that it was a medium type balm he said he's tried some balms that he thought were more like waxes and I would agree now this one is that perfect medium consistency here it's going to give you heavy nourishment but also lock in a little bit of style for you it's one of those balms that's not the creamy side but more of a little bit of body to it a little bit more of that consistency you don't want to say grainy but it has some of that kind of that body you know it has that little bit of granulated body and i really enjoy it for terms of a balm right i'm not a big balm head but i do wear balm when i test for a review um, at least a couple times so i can get a feel for it and i was able to wear this on a work day Oftentimes I'll save trying balm on a day where I'm not filming and I'm not working. This one worked so well that I had a bad beard day. My beard just felt like staticky in the morning. I don't know if you guys have ever been there. You got done washing or whatever it may be in the shower and your beard just doesn't want to lay down and wants to kind of go out. This one really tamed it very nicely. So the balm, good medium consistency balm. And then the other product that I've been testing out is his co-wash. Now his co-wash is awesome, very unique. I'm almost positive he developed every aspect of this himself. And for me, this would be a heavy co-wash. I'm gonna start breaking down conditioners and co-washes into those two categories. And I believe he does call this a co-wash. And so that's how I've used it, right? What is the difference between a conditioner and a co-wash? A conditioner is meant to be used after washing. A co-wash is meant to be used solo, but can also be used after a wash. So I've been using this one solo and I tried it one time after a wash and both were really good, but this is a heavy co-wash. Now, what do I mean by that? A light co-wash for me would be my beard would feel kind of light and airy and breathable afterwards. A heavy co-wash, my beard's going to feel a little bit heavier, but it's going to style really well. It's going to feel like it had some type of product in it in the shower. It's almost like a leave-in conditioner. And what I mean by that is when you leave the, the shower, there's still some impact you feel from that conditioner and it does a great job. Uh, it's one of the more unique conditioners that I've tried out there and I've heard a lot of people rave about it as well. So for me, one of the 
better options for a heavy conditioner. And the last one is one that I'm testing right now. I've only had it for a couple of days, but he is coming out with a beard butter. Now this is going to be a light beard butter, more so on the whipped side. And I've tried it in my favorite scent, that tropical scent. It is beautiful to go to bed with, nice and refreshing and light. I'm really excited to see this beard butter come out. I've been giving him feedback on it. And I think you guys are gonna dig that product added to his lineup if you're a returning customer to this company or if you're just checking them out for the first time. Rebuy, the final segment here. Would I recommend this company to you guys, to my best friends, to my dad, my family? Would I look to try anything new from this company or bring back any of these products into my everyday lineup? Yes, across the board. Now I've had some reviews lately that were not so good. I've had some reviews where I like this, but not the scent so much, and this was okay, but maybe not this one. I can unanimously say yes for this company. I really dig it. Small batch, made in America, passionate and knowledgeable owner, great prices, killing it with the carrier blend, has new products coming out, everything that you would want. So if you are checking this company out for the first time, go look on their site, go rewatch any part of this review and see if something strikes you as something that you think is worth trying out. I've really enjoyed them and they will definitely make space on my beard shelf. On my off days when I'm not testing, I would love to throw some of these in my lineup. And one thing that I absolutely love about that beard shelf in this company is I think they have nailed the perfect labeling concept. And I've talked about this before on the channel, but these guys epitomize that. I really like when I know a company. I wanna see your product and know right away that's yours, but I also like creativity within that. There are some companies that have amazing artwork, but I have no idea that it's from that company. Everyone looks totally different. And then there are some companies that have the exact same thing no matter what the product is, and that's cool too, but I like this one. No matter how many products I hold up, you are going to know that it is a Wild Schwein product. When I have these beard oils on the shelf, I can tell it is a Wild Schwein. Sometimes the, the hog is gonna have a hat on, sometimes it's gonna have a hairdo, sometimes it's gonna have accessories. But what I really like is that when they're all sitting side by side to each other, I'm going to be able to tell what the scent is by not having to look at the title, by not having to go online and say, oh, which one is that again? I can just simply tell because the artwork they add in there gives away the scent, which is really cool. So leave me a comment down below, guys, with your thought on that labeling, with any questions about the company, something that stood out to you about this review, anything at all. Maybe you're from Southern California and you wanna show that SoCal love. Maybe you're a barber and you wanna give some barber respect to the owner, Jake. I love the comments, guys. That means a lot to me, whether you leave one comment, you leave six comments, you respond to everyone, that helps out. And again, I genuinely appreciate that. So thank you guys. On behalf of Sam C, myself, I am Dan C. Bearded. I hope that you stay bearded and stay positive.